How a great deal money invested do you need to earn? 10,000 bucks per month, the solution might surprise you. Just imagine earning 10,000 bucks every single month or $120,000. Every year for doing really nothing except collecting income from your investments, this quantity of income may want to provide a very comfortable lifestyle for you and your family, allowing you to spend your days as you choose. Do you want to travel and see different parts of the world? Do you want to spend your time volunteering and assisting others with no need for additional income? Having this money coming in without having to lift a finger will reduce the amount of stress in your life and could lead to many outstanding things. Let's find out exactly how much money you'll need to save up to generate this amount of profits for the rest of your lifestyles. We will additionally look at other avenues to significantly reduce the amount of capital wanted. I help teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you're interested in improving your financial future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if this video is helpful. Earning $10,000 every month from your investments is the equivalent of earning $60 per hour for 40 hours every single week. It is pretty substantial considering the median full-time wage or salary worker in the United States in 2021 earn, according to PolicyAdvice.com, bringing in $10,000 per month could permit you to, without problems, spend up to $3,500 per month on housing and $1,500 to $2,000 per month on transportation, while abiding by traditional budgeting metrics. That should be enough to have a comfortable home and newer reliable means of getting around even spending this amount on these two largest household budget categories, you should still have a decent quantity of cash left over for travel leisure and other expenditures. Traditionally, experts suggest you can withdraw 4% from your investments every year with annual changes for inflation with little chance of ever running out of cash. Dot this figure discovered by the Trinity study suggests that withdrawing 4% out of your investments every single year would be sustainable for 30 years and extra. The study analyzed various markets throughout history and found that this withdrawal rate is still considered safe even in case you were to retire during the worst possible time in stock market place history. There are many people who believe 4% is too high or too low or that it's in previous benchmark, but it is a reasonable guideline that can be used as a rule of thumb in a few years. Die your portfolio will earn a 10 return some years, it will return 20, and some years, it will be negative isn't always your total average investment return. It is simply a safe withdrawal rate. In order to withdraw 4% from your portfolio every 12 months or $10,000 per month, you need 25 times that amount or $3 million. How on earth would an average person save up $2 million? Let's consider you are beginning and not using a money but plan on retiring with $2 million in 40 years, which is less than the common working career noted by Forbes. By investing 20,000s per year, earning a 10 rate of return and increasing year. Annual contributions with inflation, you'd have just over $3 million adjusted for a 4% inflation rate by your projected retirement date. It's absolutely a good-sized feat. Investing consistently over that long of a period of time. Not to mention saving 20000 thousands per year when many families are living paycheck to paycheck. However, a two-earnings household would only need to earn $50,000 per year each in order to save an affordable 20% of their earnings. If this appears out of reach, there are many ways to reduce the amount of money wished so you can begin earning $10,000 per month much quicker. The good news is that you don't necessarily need $3 million. Whilst the 4% withdrawal charge relates to stock and bond investments, there are other ways to achieve higher yields. For example, some dividend investors are comfortable reaching a 5% dividend yield or better, this means they're receiving a 5% return on their money without considering stock rate appreciation. When a dividend investor is successful, they acquire the dividend payment for keeping a stock and the price of the stock outpaces the rate of inflation. By utilizing this strategy, you are able to live off dividends while the value of your investment continues to rise over time. Of course, this is highly dependent on the form of stocks or funds you buy but when looking into other inventory investing techniques, it is possible to withdraw more than 4% of your investment gains each year if you are able to achieve a 5% dividend you need 
million dollars to earn $10,000 per month or 20% less money invested. Purchasing real estate is a popular investment vehicle and for exact reason there are always people looking to rent a home under various circumstances perhaps they aren't financially prepared to buy one on their own or they don't plan on staying in one area for a long enough time to make buying profitable this affords an opportunity for investors who aren't afraid of an extra hands-on approach to growth their cash flow doc receiving a 7 to 10 percent cash on cash return on your investment with a long-term rental is achievable this means you would receive 7 to 10 percent in cash flow each year and the fee of the property will rise evaluate this to receiving an average 1.5 percent dividend from the p500 in addition to the rising share prices if you were able to receive an annual cash flow amount of seven percent you'd need roughly 1.7 million dollars in real estate to earn ten thousands per month if earning a seven to ten percent cash on cash return seems unreasonable with a long-term rental there are so many in-demand housing options in real estate Many landlords find success in renting out a home by the room like a boarding house. The tenants share the common space, such as the kitchen living room, and sometimes the bathrooms. Each tenant pays their own portion of the rent, sometimes on a weekly basis. Many people are unwilling or unable to afford an entire home or apartment, and this scenario is beneficial to both the property owner and the tenants. The tenants enjoy the benefit of having a shared home which many people enjoy oftentimes the landlord will provide a cleaning service to maintain the common spaces so the burden of that shared responsibility is reduced. In return, the owner gets more amount of income due to supplement management request short-term rental is another way to generate extra income that won't be possible for a long-time renter. This is right for assets proprietors that want to earn more earnings, and it's ideal for travelers who choose staying in a residence instead of a large hotel, depending on how hands-on the owner is willing to be they could handle as many or as few as the daily tasks required of running a quick-time rental. If they were really feeling ambitious, they could easy the property on occasion, which pays a surprisingly high hourly rate, often $50 or more per hour. If you want a way to considerably reduce the amount of capital needed to generate $10,000 per month, there are different options well not quite as passive as collecting dividend checks as you lounge on the sofa. Many ideas could bring in some profits requiring very little effort on your part. One way to do this is by renting out a portion of your own home. This doesn't necessarily suggest bringing in a roommate like you are in college. It could be renting out a portion of your backyard for someone to park a car or a camper. People will gladly pay hundreds of dollars per night if you have a desirable spot for someone to set up camp for a few nights. Even if you only charge $100 per night, this could add up to $3,000 per month. This means you need $2.1 million in additional capital instead of the initial $3 million needed to bring your monthly total to $10,000 per month. Another option that could deliver in some relatively profits income is by generating an online presence. Blogs can seem outdated on the surface, but they're simply still quite popular. Publishing online articles will require a few time and effort, but then once completed the income. will continue. You could also start a YouTube channel reviewing products and provide affiliate links where viewers can purchase the products presented. After a while, you'll receive revenue from the ads displayed on your videos and affiliate earnings when your viewers purchase your merchandise. Even TikTok content creators are bringing in extensive amounts of earnings within the constant scrolling of short videos make it easy to reach hundreds of thousands of people. Creating and maintaining these types of revenue streams does require some upfront and continuous work, but they're still considered passive when compared to working for a salary or hourly rate. Of course, these scenarios don't forget the taxes you'd be chargeable for. It's difficult to predict the taxes that could potentially be owed because to the fact that each of these income streams are taxed in different forms a rental property is taxed much differently than portfolio income, which could consist of a 401k era Roth era brokerage account and so forth. Moreover, there are numerous possible combinations of income sources that might present a different tax invoice. Your excellent bet is to work with a CPA to maximize your tax situation.
There is an expansion of options for those trying to earn $10,000 per month starting from absolutely passive to methods for those who enjoy a greater hands-on approach. Even as it is possible for the one's incomes a regular income to achieve this quantity of monthly income with traditional investing over a long period of time, there are unlimited alternatives to speed up the process allowing you to begin collecting your $10,000 monthly check sooner rather than later.